Well, hello there and welcome. My name is Guy Stevens with the Alliance Against Seclusion and Restraint, and you are here with us for our news segment, which is called In the News. And in this segment, we look at news stories that are out there, we uh, make some comments, and really just share some quick clips and quick thoughts. So today I have a news clip to share with you, and this is from Fox 31 out of Denver. Uh, there have been some stories recently in Denver about the use of seclusion rooms. So we're going to play a little clip here, and uh, I'll provide some comments on it uh, either along the way or at the end. Uh, but let's let's look at this story out of Denver. Well, three separate investigations are now underway following the allegations that a Denver middle school locked students inside a seclusion room. And the issue has reached the country's top education officials. Our Ashley Michaels is looking into it in this week's Colorado Point of View. U.S. Education Secretary Miguel Cardona was in Aurora for an education summit and agreed to speak with us one on one about safety, violence and mental health in schools. He says he's watching what's happening in Denver public schools surrounding the use of seclusion rooms. Now, Denver does not allow students to be locked alone in a room, but state law does allow for seclusion rooms in certain situations. We asked Cardona, should they be banned everywhere? Should they be allowed? And let's think about that for a second. What they say is a state law allows seclusion in certain situations. And of course, this is what it is in many states uh, across the United States where uh, seclusion is allowed to be used in certain situations. And typically the situation is in a case of serious physical harm or uh, imminent serious physical harm. Sometimes it's just a matter of uh, harm or safety. Sometimes it's a matter of property damage. But the truth of the matter is seclusion is not something that should be happening at all. Locking a child or putting a child in a room against their will and not letting them out is something that should never happen. This is inhumane. So let's go ahead and listen to the rest of the clip here. Out everywhere, or should it be left up to individual districts to decide how to handle students? who have Got a comment here. Um, should it be allowed to individual districts? And, you know, I, I realize that there's an argument about state control, local control to be made here. But we're talking about civil rights. We're talking about human rights. We're talking about disability rights. Uh, these things should not be left to state or local control. Our civil rights should not vary as we go from state to state or district to district. Uh, the protection of lives really is critical to happen at the federal level. And this is one of the reasons we need federal law to end the use of seclusion in schools around the country. Who have trouble handling their own emotions. Look, we shouldn't be uh, having as a strategy a place where a student who's in trauma is locked in a room alone and possibly harming themselves or, or, or you know, cr destroying the, the, the room. We have to have layers of intervention um, and that requires support. So whether we're talking about a blanket statement or... And I, I really appreciate that Secretary Cardone is here and weighing in on this. Uh, and, you know, I agree, we shouldn't actually put anyone in a room or area against their will and not let them out. Uh, that is not humane. That is not okay. Uh, and it's a practice that must stop. There are far better things we can and should do. Uh, unfortunately, Secretary Cardona doesn't really have time to, to go into detail here. Uh, but absolutely, this, this is not a question about whether it should be left to local or state control. This is a civil rights issue, a human rights issue, a disability rights issue. Uh, our rights should not vary as we go from district to district, school to school, or state to state. Or local districts, I, I think this is an important conversation to really think through the challenges that many of our schools are having. You can catch the full conversation on Colorado Point of View. It airs at 7.30 Saturday. And of course, uh, you know, these are these are conversations to be having. Uh, but ultimately, I think we also need the support of federal lawmakers here in the United States. Uh, there have been efforts to pass federal legislation that go all the way back to 2009. Uh, there have been efforts almost every year for the last several years. We currently have the Keeping All Students Safe Act that would ban the use of seclusion, ban the use of prone and supine restraint, add millions of dollars for training and, and really to help people move in a better direction. Uh, but that legislation has not moved forward, and it won't move forward unless we, we make a lot of noise, we uh, make our voices heard, and we do things to bring about change. So at any rate, I'm going to tie it up here with that story. That was just a quick... Uh, a quick story that we wanted to hit here and uh, want to thank everybody again for joining us today. And we're going to uh, be back with these events uh, as we get more and more news. So stay tuned. Thanks for joining us. And we look forward to seeing you again real soon. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.